you guys doing a step here we have another rant video while we have some highlights of the match that I play uh, recently on my club PES 2016 online divisions previously we, I think I had another rant video complaining about the lag cheaters I mean would you fucking blame me um, so the title of the video division one what's the rush honestly where's the fucking rush to get to division one if I get to division one I'll probably fucking go nuts against lag cheaters and spammers and people who use uh, who does white benching now what is white benching and why do people do it now before I start ranting about it I want to say that I have tried to do white benching myself as well to see what the big fuss is all about and you know what you always get matched against people who are in division one two or three so what does that tell you I mean I only tried uh, white benching for a couple of matches on the stream while I was using a team level 3. Normally I only use um, white ball players on the bench if my management manager's management skill is not that high. Even then I still use a team level 4 if you know what I mean. But the purpose of these guys using filling the bench with white ball players who they have no cost therefore they have no effect on your team strength and what they do they simply create a team level three with the bench filled with white balls and they have a main 11 superstars I mean there are many famous names who throughout the past 14 13 15 until 16 you know those high top ranks I don't want to say any names on my club and believe it or not they all use a team level 3 with white benching and it is very unfair to be honest I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you guys you probably some of you seen it on the stream I have done white benching several times but I was using a team level 4 and my managers management skill couldn't hold it I even tried the team level 3 I really don't see a big deal I think I think no offense you should have a balls and actually play a team level 4 at least Now the reason why I use team level 4, when I try team level 5 I have a video about it, it's a lot of errors happen. It could be just me, but after 100 matches, no, it can't be just me. I don't, I don't say anything out of a randomness, you know, everything that I say I've tested it over and over. Now the reason why people do that, imagine somebody just started my club, probably has Ibrahimovic or Ronaldo or a couple of black balls with a shitty team spirit you get matched against these guys so th those people I'm not saying everyone there are legit skillful players who does not care about anything just plays the game and fucking destroys okay I'm not saying everyone but more than 60 percent of people in division 1 2 and 3 you can try it yourself go and set your matchmaking filter to pass level 2 and team level 3 you will guarantee get matched against people in division 1 2 or 3 or you will get matched against people who just started the game, the free-to-play version, with probably just have one black ball or two black ball, and with team spirit below 50. That's that's what easy wins. Uh, that's how you get easy wins, basically. And I was actually taking a piss of one of my friends, um, uh, you know, because every time he was going for a match, filtering the search for past level two and team spirit three, he constantly was getting matched against uh, the free to play version of the game on PS4, and he was fucking destroying every game with 15 goals. I was like, so yeah, guys, I really don't think that that is fair to be honest. I mean, let's be honest. I love online gaming, okay, and that is my problem. People always try to find an easy way out. There's always going to be people who try to b basically beat the game not the gamer and right now I use team level 5 I, I, you know the reason why I don't use team level 5 no matter how good you're trying to play somehow the script kills you sometime and you know as a streamer and youtuber I can't join these guys I mean I guarantee you guys I can actually stream it for you if I white bench and use the team level 3 I will be in division 1 in no freaking time okay but what is the rush to get to Division 1? Once you get to Division 1, then fucking what? You don't, you don't really get anything. Probably, if I get to, when I get to Division 1, I will start playing online competition. I'm already starting a serious playlist again, uh, my subscribers and followers as well. But there would, there would be rules, you know, there would be certain rules that I'm going to put on. Probably no black balls, or maybe only two black balls are out, etc, etc. But when it comes to white benching, guys, honestly, it, it is really unfair. And do not comment down below telling me, oh, you white, you white bench too. Because you probably didn't watch this video, and I did said I did white bench to test the shit out. And 
I did white bench to use a team level 4 because I didn't want to go team level 5. But these people, imagine having Ronaldo and Benzema on red condition with, you know, white benching. And you have the rest of the players with, like, you know, decent black ball players. I mean, these people uh, fill the bench with white balls with no subs. And their 11 starting players, they're all fucking black, ball, black balls. You're fucked. No wonder people picks up this game and then get ravaged and then fucking quit because that's what people do. People always take advantage of the system. I mean, what the fuck happening to fair play in sportsmanship? Wait a minute, Seb. You're trying to make a fucking world a better place. That ain't gonna happen, pal. Anyway, I just spoke myself there. But, um... Yeah, guys, I mean, comment down below what you think about this whole thing. Now, you're probably thinking, oh, I don't want to I don't want to use all superstars because I get scripted. You could be right about that. Simply don't use a team level 5. Or, when you create a team for my club, guys, it really isn't about using all your superstars. Because it's unrealistic anyway. I mean, can you see a biggest team in real life affording Abrahamovic, Robin, Ronaldo, Messi, Neymar, Ramos, Thiago Silva, Buffon in the same team? No, it doesn't happen. So my advice is to you guys, please stop white benching. And if people does it, then... You know, you have a choice whether you want to join them or actually you do have the balls if you are using a team level 4 or 5 and you're actually trying to play legit. No offense, guys, but those of you who does full white bench and uses Ronaldo and Neymar at super black balls at the main 11, you really need to get a pair. I'm just joking, by the way. But, um, yeah, this is how I feel. I don't think it's fair because I don't understand why people... Um, most of them is like in Division 1, 2, 3, they do that. And you know what? Maybe I'm thinking, okay, maybe they're not good enough. They do this. They're trying to get matched against noobs. But then I see those famous top ranks that these guys been top ranks since 2014, 15. And they do that as well. So if you are that good at the game, why do you need to do that? Why do you need to set up a filter and make a team level 3 with superstars to get matched against noobs and newcomers and people who actually just started the game? I just don't understand it. Now, this happens in online divisions as well, guys. I remember on PES 2015, the top 1 and 2, I'm not going to say names, top 1 guy stayed in Division 5, you know, and he had like 160 wins with like 2 losses. But listen to this one. The top 2 worldwide rank in PES 2015 never left Division 11. His, his win ratio was 140 to like 1 loss. 140 to 1 loss. He never left Division 11 so that he can get mashed against noob and, you know, no, no good players, basically. Now, you may think, how can you not leave Division 11? Well, at the beginning, there was a glitch where you can relegate yourself every time. So I don't understand what's happening. I mean, these guys uh, compete for the World Finals, and yet when it comes to online division, they are so much focused on getting their name out to be on the top rank, no matter what. And there are fucking people sick in the head who actually cheats just so they can post on Twitter or, or you know, post on Facebook or post on Twitter. Oh, look at my rank. It's coming to a point in that either fair, legit people are actually people doubting them because every time you get matched against someone who is Division 1, 2, 3, you're thinking, oh, shit. I'm losing this game anyway. If I beat him, he like cheats me. And if I... By any chance, if I manage to fucking lose, then, yeah, okay, so you have no choice, literally. You're either going to lose, or if you win, you get lag cheated. Now, I'm not saying everyone. Now, make sure to get that right. I am not saying everyone. I'm not saying all top division people are unfair. I'm not saying that. I said that at the beginning as well. So, if you're not watching this video fully, do not judge me by what I say every now and then, because I do say I'm not saying everybody is unfair. Uh, you know, keep that in mind. Uh, from now onward, I'm planning to do. I'm planning to start um, the live commentary and face cam, just having fun. From now on, my videos, I have ranted about literally everything, um, you know. So from now on, it's just gonna, we're just gonna have a laugh. From now on, to be honest, I'm gonna upload um, online gameplay. I'm just gonna laugh my ass off whether they cheat, whether they white bench, whatever they fucking do. Because the way I see it, game should be fun. If it's no fun for you anymore, don't fucking play it. I've been Sep. Until next time, ciao for now. Thank <laughs> you.